joining us right now. He is sitting with former State Senate President Mike Herodopoulos to talk more about these latest developments. Hello, gentlemen. Amy, thanks. Good morning. And Mike, good morning to you. Hope you had a good, good fourth holiday. So let's talk about this. The president has a new legal team now, and they're going to address. Now, they were shot down by the Supreme Court, but it wasn't saying you can't have it. They just said it didn't really apply to what you're trying to prove at this point. Uh, that's correct. So the new legal team looking at these and, and presenting it in a new way, to put it mm -hmm. best. And this, remember, this is not a new question. This was in, in the census from the 1820s to roughly 1950. So this is not something that was kind of prohibited in the past. This is something that we're all looking at because, uh, as you know, about 14% of all Americans are not born in this country. And the, the question is going to come out into this. Yes, this is a very big political football right now, but w when you have the census, that decides so many things from local funding, sure. let alone congressional seats. We want to make sure we get it done right. There was also a poll that came out this weekend that showed the majority of Americans want that on. That's got to influence the decisions. All politicians are, are bound to some degree by those polls. Well, I think with the, the chaos of the border at this point, given all the proximity with the presidential campaign, et cetera, clearly people want a more orderly situation because it's become a very difficult humanitarian issue at the border. We want to get this right. And so, so many Americans are frustrated that Republicans and Democrats overwhelmingly every day play politics. And it was shocking to see even last week, I think in the 2020 debate, when, when asked, if, if a person comes here illegally, will you provide them with free health care? It was shocking to see, at least in my opinion, that all 10 Democrats on the stage of the league raised their hand in that question. And that'll be a big issue going forward. And you took us to our next topic. Congress comes back this week mm -hmm. from the recess, and one of the issues they'll hit on right away, uh, detention centers and immigration. How do you see that moving forward? Well, what I hope they do instead of just holding hearings, I mean, how many years of hearings do you need? We know what's going on. Let's have the House and Senate work on something to, to whatever the problem might be. Get it solved, because at this point, all they did is, is basically put the circus in town by having these hearings, and you can see a he said, she said situation, or Democrat, Republican situation. I think we, uh, Americans want to see progress. They want to see these folks work it out. And to your point, a vast majority of Americans saying there is a problem at the border. Let's solve it as opposed to just having an open border. I mean, even President Obama's former DHS secretary is saying, hey, if you follow this policy that some of the Democrats are going to push for, this is an open border, which is the last thing you need right now. It's just about 20 seconds. As hard as it is to get something done like this, with 2020 coming up, mm -hmm. we also see those images. We see literally life and death, which puts a little more pressure on Congress. Oh, as it should. This is a life or death issue. But yeah, I, I, I understand the plight of the immigrant because here they are. They're getting dangled free health care. America is, it has this incredible economy, so many more freedoms. That's why they want to come across the border. But let's not forget that about a million people come here legally every year. You can't disrespect the people who also play by the rules. Mike, I'll leave it there. Thanks for the insight. Always good to see you. Good to see you, Ryan. All right, Bob, Amy, back to you. Thank you.